Just like every other guy, I'm also a phony person and love to customize my phone. So I always try to put some good wallpapers on my phone every other week. And what I have observed is, when I found my last wallpaper, it was so beautiful and elegant that I decided to keep that wallpaper forever. But today I changed it, thinking that now this new wallpaper is the best and I will keep it forever. Because I was not liking that previous one anymore. Actually, since I applied it, day by day I found its beauty to be fading away. But can you see? Has the beauty of wallpaper actually changed? Has the wallpaper actually degraded over time? No, not at all. It's the same wallpaper which I thought was the most elegant just a few days ago. So what actually happened? If you have a little intelligence, then you can discover one of the greatest secrets of life here. The secret is, it is the very nature of mind to desire to move from one wish to another when the former gets fulfilled. No matter what you get, even if you will get heaven in afterlife, just within six months you will get bored and desire for some other heaven and will create other religions in heaven too. Not because there is any problem with heaven, but because it is the very processing of mind to desire to move from one wish to another when the former gets fulfilled. And this is the simplest proof that all your heaven and hell are just imaginations because the very idea on which they were constructed fails. When you explore something, you lose interest in it and desire to explore some other thing. The only way to conquer misery is by understanding this game of mind, leaving this game of mind and just becoming the spectator of this game and not becoming serious with the outcomes of the game, which is nothing but meditation itself. If there is depression, don't get attached, just watch, as if depression is the act, your body is the actor and you are the spectator.